What is going on, YouTube? Brian Mello here, Marty's Buick GMC. I'm out here on a wonderful 20 degree day here in Kingston, Massachusetts. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. We all know how much that's uh, fun to listen to during the videos. Uh, I gotta tell you, I haven't been this excited about a release. Uh, not even the 2014 Sierra. This thing is amazing. The front end totally redesigned, the new wheel design, the new back end, I mean this thing is totally overhauled and when you get a look at the inside you're going to be speechless. Uh, they did great. I could not be happier with the outcome of this thing. Uh, in just a second I'm going to take you guys for a quick walk around, show you the uh, the new exterior features, take a peek at the new 5.3 liter Ecotec V8, take a peek at the inside where uh, basically we're all interested in seeing the most. Uh, the new fold-away seats, the new IntelliLink system, new gauges, new clusters, new dash, new seats, new everything. There's that wind. <laughs> Alright guys, let's take a look. Alright guys, so first things first, let's take a quick walk around uh, so you can get a look at the vehicle. Uh, the all new exterior, it looks awesome if I do say so myself. Um, the new chrome around the windows, the new side steps. And actually, one of my favorite features is actually really small. It's right here in the back. You will notice that you do not see a rear wiper anymore. Uh, what they actually did is they tucked it right up underneath. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it under there, uh, but it's actually right up underneath here. Uh, so it stays hidden. Much cleaner, as you can see just by looking at it. Looks really, really good. Uh, they also covered up the trailer hitch. You still get your backup sensors. I haven't even opened this in the back, but we'll take a look at that in just a second. There it is. I'll shut this. You can see you do have HID, high intensity, uh, high intensity display headlights uh, with LED surround. They also added the GMC logo uh, within the headlight embossed in there. It looks awesome. Is a little cold. You can see the water already already freezing on the grill. Beautiful, beautiful truck. I am stoked. This thing is absolutely killer looking. Let's take a peek in the back. Whew! It is cold. Obviously, one touch. You can see up it goes. Now this is pretty neat. So you have power folding seats back here. I haven't even tried this yet. So. Uh, Let's see what happens. So that's one. That's two. And then I'm going to say press this button here. That's the next set. And the next set. Huh. There we go. So all power folding just have to hit the buttons and off they go. Same thing, we'll actually pop those back up. You're actually following right along with me. I have not been in this thing yet. I jumped in it uh, right when it came in to the dealership. See, you can see power folding up. Fold up that other one. All from back here, don't have to touch anything. Really cool. Really cool. Makes life easier if you're gonna pile in a bunch of people back there. Uh, you gotta, you know, throw the dog in the back, or you could carry a bunch of luggage, whatever it may be. Uh, also added a little storage compartment back here. Pretty cool. Yeah, we'll just give this button here a tap and let that thing shut. Let's go see what we can discover in the passenger uh, compartment. Let's just I'm gonna throw these back down. Of course, if you do have to do anything manually, it's real easy. Just grab that seat, give it a push. Throw this one down. Come on. There we go. All right, now we're in business. All right. And let's go in the back and go all the way back here give you guys a little uh, turn this radio down there we go all right 
All right. So first thing I'm going to show you guys is the uh, the new rear entertainment. Much bigger screen. Really keep the kids quiet. <laughs> you almost can't tell how big the screen really is uh, by sitting back here. Uh, but it's, it's a pretty big screen. Um, I would give it uh, probably 10 inch display. I don't know the exact figure on the top of my head, but it looks about a 10 inch figuring that the, uh, the Intel link up front is an eight. And if you can't see that, it is a Blu-ray player, which is awesome. And all LED interior lighting. So we'll fold that up. New place for cup holders. And I'm a fan. Right there in the door. You also have your controls down here for if you, uh, you can actually hook up a gaming system to this if you wanted to. Um, heated seats also in the back. So yeah, the, the, uh, the guys sitting in the passenger seat in the back don't have to be too jealous of the guys all nice and warm in the front. Which is always a plus. You also have power outlet there. And if my gloves let me use my fingers, uh, there's an in-home AC outlet as well. Uh, so anything that you want to plug in, I believe you also have, you can see, yep, you have a USB slot, uh, auxiliary audio there as well. Uh, so pretty much everything that you'd need to keep kids entertained in the back, or adults entertained in the back, uh, they thought of it. So you're pretty much good to go back here. Awesome. Really cool. I'll give you a little bird's eye view. Of course, the steering wheel's cocked because I got the, the wheels turned, but uh, I'll give you a bird's eye view of what it looks like up front. But in just a second, we will jump up there to get a better view. In fact, why don't we do that right now? Let's go, let's go. All right. That beeping you're hearing is because I have the uh, the key fob. There is no key now on this thing. It is a push to start, uh, so it's recognizing that the key is out of the vehicle and still running. So it's actually just notifying me. So if I was not aware, I'm just gonna lower the tripod. All right, guys. So here we are up front. This is in the driver's side. Clearly, I know. Uh, you can take a look at the new console. They did and awesome job designing this thing. Uh, they moved a couple buttons that you might be familiar with. Uh, normally the heated seats are usually on the door. They moved those here. Uh, your uh, climate controls are all right here now. Your IntelliLink, if you've seen the 2014 Sierra, uh, same, uh, same concept, same IntelliLink system. Uh, interesting design down here in order to increase your uh, the, the speed of the fan or where the, uh, the air is blowing. Uh, these toggle switches, kind of like what you'd see in an airplane. Uh, really cool design. And of course, you have an additional power outlet, two USB jacks here. Now, this is completely Bluetooth capable, so if you want to pair up your phone, absolutely do it because the voice recognition is really, really good. Uh, when I get some time, I'm going to actually come in here. I'll pair my iPhone up and show you guys uh, how that all works. Giant glove box. Uh, in case you need to store a small child, dog, or everything you own. And, of course, oh, we got a little surprise in there. Got some goodies, probably on manuals. You can see, more storage. You, of course, you have more USB ports, another auxiliary jack there, and a, an additional power outlet right here. You can see there's your start-stop button. So no more keys. Uh, and the key fob, if I can get it out of my pocket with these gloves on, the uh, the key fob is redesigned. Let's see if I can get it. Of course I can't. I'll, I'll show you guys that in just a second when I hop out. Um, see your steering wheel. Very similar to 2014, so if you've seen the 2014 uh, Sierra video that I've done, uh, it's, it's a really similar design. Heated steering wheel. Absolutely, I will turn that on. Like I said, it's 20 degrees here right now, so uh, it's a it's a bit brisk. Uh, Four-wheel drive controls down here on the left, same place they've they've always been. So that's that's uh, keeps it familiar. You get your parking uh, alerts here. Uh, the beeping when you're backing up or getting close to something also works when you're going forward. You also have crash alert. 
Uh, you can actually see when we jump out, there's a camera right behind this mirror here. It's actually looking straight ahead. Uh, so if you were to come up on a vehicle too fast and the Yukon knows that uh, if you didn't slow down, you'd probably give them a little love tap. Uh, it'll let you know. Also has the side impact crash alert uh, where it'll vibrate in the seat and notify you in the mirror. So if something's coming up on your left in your blind spot, uh, the vehicle will vibrate on the right side of your seat and notify you in the mirror as well. Uh, really good, especially when you're driving something this large. It's nice to have. Just let you guys take a take this all in. You can see up top, there are your power moonroof controls. So they're right there. You also have your garage door openers that you can program for your garage door. OnStar equipped mirror, of course, it's GM. So we gotta give you guys OnStar, keep you and your family safe. What else do we have up here? So we get your, oh, uh, take a look. You can see your LED interior lights. They're awesome, they're super bright. It's a much better light. Uh, I know it's something as crazy as a light uh, being that awesome is, sounds a little silly, but uh, once you see it in the dark, it, it's, it's great. You could actually just read a book under these lights without any issue, not that you're gonna be doing much reading in the, uh, in the Yukon. You also have your security mirror so you can see the kids in the back put your glasses up there and I'll give you guys a quick peek I'm not gonna go too crazy with it but I'll show you guys quickly um, the Intel link system I've done a couple videos on it uh, so take a peek um, really easy to use that's probably one of the best things I'm hoping that the touchscreen when I'm about to touch it will read through my gloves um, but the, the thing with the IntelliLink is that they made it really easy. I'm sure if you look at the vehicle you're driving right now, you probably had 700 buttons right here. Um, they got rid of almost all of them. There's, there's really not a lot to look at anymore. Um, you don't have to stumble around and touch 58 buttons. Most of the controls that you need are right there on the dash and really easy to get to. I mean, if we want to check out what the weather is, simply touch the weather icon. It's having a hard time reading through my finger. There we go. So you can see, I'll take you up close. So you can see the weather there. It's looking like it's uh, 21 degrees, mostly sunny, and at 1 p.m. we're looking at snow. 4 p.m. snow. God, that's not really what I was hoping to see, but uh, at least now I know. Uh, we'll go back home. You have your nav, video player, Pandora radio. Um, and your OnStar, once uh, your OnStar is activated, you'd be able to go into the OnStar system. Uh, it, like I said, it's really easy, so you don't have to be afraid of jumping into settings and changing things. You're never going to break it. You're never going to do anything wrong. Um, these do come with uh, XM satellite radio. If you haven't tried XM, I suggest you try it, and you'll never, ever, ever want to listen to the regular radio again. Um, I was the same way. I thought that XM radio would be a waste, but it's awesome. There's a station for everything. Um, so that's that. That's the uh, the IntelliLink. We'll pick English. Yes. We'll go back. And okay. Take a look at our nav. So this is our navigation. Similar to what you would see. Um, and now I'm in the middle of nowhere right now, so... <laughs> Uh, that's why you're seeing the middle of nowhere. Um, but it's it's really good. It's not like the uh, the older navs where it was just like the arrow on the map. This is actually a, a 3D version. Uh, it's it's similar to what you'd see if you had if you've ever used like a Garmin um, or a Navigon navigation system, a standalone. Uh, so it works really well. The speech is really clear. Um, it's not something that'll drive you crazy. And if you have the radio on and the navigation, it'll just, uh, when there's a turn coming up, it'll just uh, mute down the volume of the radio and talk over it, uh, which is nice. Uh, so that's your 8-inch display on the IntelliLink. I know in a previous video, I mean, the mistake of saying it was a 4.5-inch, I apologized for that. Um, everyone jumped all over me for it. Uh, your 4.5-inch display is here on the dashboard. Uh, the dash screen is really nice because if you're driving, you actually don't necessarily have to look at the IntelliLink. Uh, you can scroll through just about everything. You can see I'm changing the radio station right now, XM46, 45, 44, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, you can jump into your radio, browse favorites. Uh, you can go back, you can jump into your phone, you can do navigation right through this screen. Um, if I had a route entered, it would go. 
uh, go into your settings, info, you can see how fast you're going, uh, your average fuel economy, fuel range, oil life, everything. So really neat, it's like a full diagnostic uh, right there on the dashboard. Uh, keeps all your information that you need to know about your vehicle right there, right in front of you. One quick thing too guys, I forgot to show you. Actually I just had someone uh, point it out to me. This might be one of the coolest features I have ever seen in any vehicle ever. This button right here. Well, let's just say hypothetically you got some cool things that you need to store. Keep out of uh, sight. Just press that button there, the screen actually lifts up completely and you have all this space back here. Also a USB uh, hookup back there, if you want to throw your phone in here and keep it uh, out of sight, you could do that too. Really cool feature, not anything I've ever seen. Um, I have seen a similar setup in a Cadillac, but it, it didn't have any storage, uh, it just lifted and, and uh, dropped down. Really cool. 2015 GMC Yukon. Welcome to the future, guys. I'm gonna hop back out so you guys can uh, get another look. Give you a peek at the door. See your uh, these are your memory seating buttons here. Mirror adjustments, power windows, of course. Now, like I said, this thing. It showed up at the lot, I hopped in it, I ripped the plastic off the seats and I, t I took off, so... Uh, <laughs> it's a little dirty, just came off the truck, but even dirty, it sure looks good. You can see, uh, if you're wondering what all that is, that is actually all the floor mats. Um, so you do get, I believe, I want to say it's, you get the one floor mat in the back that goes across uh, the entire section of the flooring there. You get a floor mat in front of this seat, floor mat in front of this seat, and then of course the two for the front, so the driver and passenger side as well. You can see those LED lights lit up again up top. I love them. They look so good. You can see up here too, you have your, uh, your AC and heating vents up top. Keep your passengers happy. Giant moon roof. Uh, the moonroof has the two abilities, it can either tilt up, so you can pop it and it'll tilt up like that, or you can slide it all the way back. Now this is an SLT, uh, but this is pretty much what you'd be looking at if it was a Denali. Uh, this is loaded to the moon, the only thing it doesn't have is a Denali badge. So if you are thinking about the Denali, this is, uh, this is probably your best rendition of what the Denali is going to look like. Um, what you're going to get with the Denali, you'll probably get a little bit uh, different style of wheel, uh, but other than that, this is uh, this is what it's gonna look like. Just another thing too that I uh, I forgot to mention the not only do you have heated seats uh, but you actually have AC seats. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced. I know we have the wonderful privilege here being in from New England uh, to enjoy bitter cold and sweltering heat. Uh, it's awesome to have the uh, the AC seats in the summertime. It's it's kind of a cool feeling. Let's take a quick look under the hood. Hopefully, there is not a squirrel under here running on a wheel. There we are. Really quiet. Really, really quiet. Um, so this is the all new 5.3 liter EcoTech. I want to tell you that it is rated at 22 miles per gallon highway. Don't quote me on it. Uh, I will have to check that for you guys, but I do believe that's what the EPA released uh, two or three days ago, uh, 22 miles per gallon highway, which isn't bad, especially for a vehicle this size. Uh, so this is the same motor that you'd be getting in the uh, 2014 Sierra as well. Aluminum everywhere. They didn't torture either with like terrible access. If you need to check your fluids or anything, you can easily access them. Looks like we're actually just starting to get snow. I got out here just in time. There we go. So that's it, guys. 
This is the 2015 GMC Yukon. I'm actually going to straighten out this wheel. And I'm going to give you guys one more uh, one more walk around. Actually, I still have the hood open. It's yelling at me. Rawr. There we go. There it is. So if this is something you guys are uh, considering, you know, your lease is running up, or you're just ready for a new uh, new SUV, this is a must-see. You would absolutely be doing yourself a giant injustice by not checking this thing out. Uh, we actually have two. We have this one and we have a white one. The white one, I believe, is an SLE. Uh, they're both parked right out front, or going to be parked right out front uh, once I bring this one home. Beautiful truck. If you guys have any questions about it, actually take a peek right here. While I'm over here, I can take a... Look at the window sticker. You can see the MSRP on this one. Maybe you can't. Maybe I can't focus in on it. Uh, MSRP on this is 64,125. And I actually wasn't wrong. There we go. 22 miles per gallon highway. Uh, average fuel economy 18. Of course, that being with all the new, uh, the new motor, active fuel management. And there you have it, guys. If you have any questions about it, concerns, you want to know more, you want to take it for a ride, you want to see it, feel free to swing on by right off exit 8. You can't miss us on Route 3. Or uh, check us out on the website, martysbuickgmc.com. I'm going to try and get as many photos of this thing as I can. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe, like, comment, talk to me. <laughs> I need friends. Oh, but seriously, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, as always. And hopefully, I see you soon. Take care, guys. And stay warm. <laughs>